Hello and welcome friends. In this particular module, we wish to discuss about air pollution disasters. Here, we will discuss about the consequences of air pollution disasters. Major air pollution disasters that have occurred over the world in order to signify mortality, morbidity, the pollutant which was responsible for that disaster, the geographical conditions and also at the end we will discuss about the contribution of air pollution disasters in urban air quality. As you learn the content, you will be able to explain the consequences of the disasters as well as recite major air pollution disasters over the world and also be able to discuss the after effects of the disasters on air quality. Let's try to understand about the consequences of air pollution disasters. In general, we can say that disaster is a consequence of improper risk management. It is a particular hazard which results in significant physical damage as well as loss of life and hazardous impact on the environment. This disaster could be natural or it could be man-made and also it may be sudden onset say for example flash flood, cloud burst or an explosion in industry or it could also be prolonged onset say for example it could be drought or sudden after effect of civil conflict. If we consider certain hazards which are striking low vulnerability areas or uninhabited region, these hazards won't be considered as disasters. As we consider these particular disasters in terms of air pollution, Usually, the air pollution may lead to certain disaster as well as a certain disaster could also be leading to air pollution. Say for example, if we consider certain effect of earthquake, the collapse of the buildings, so it would cause the increase in the particulate emission. If we consider certain volcanic eruption, there will be release of the considerable obnoxious gases which may lead to air pollution disaster. Also, these disasters may disturb the air quality for long period or it also be for short period. If there is an exposure of the life to large concentration of the pollutants. Within a short period, it may result in more fatalities. Say for example, if we consider the death toll that is caused because of the release of certain toxic gases in certain industry. The poor countries will always be more susceptible to the disasters. However, they may not be suffering from great economic loss. As compared to these particular poor countries, the developing nations may be in the phase of creating the excellent infrastructures, but they may not be having proper risk management practices involved. And hence, the developing nations are susceptible to the great loss of life economic loss as well as environmental degradation because of the disaster. 
as we proceed we wish to touch number of disasters as listed here on this particular slide the first disaster we wish to discuss is meuse valley disaster this meuse valley is the long strip like region which is spread along the meuse river this particular site involves number of industries which are associated with zinc steel fertilizer and sulfuric acid plants specifically over the period of this first week of the december 1930 heavy smog was reported over this particular area the weather was characterized as anti cyclone with high atmospheric pressure and low speed wind conditions to temperature inversion these climatic conditions and air pollution emissions from densely populated factories and increased emissions from the domestic coal burning led to the mortality of 60 lives as well as even the morbidity was experienced with 6000 people the analysis showed the concentrations of carbon monoxide carbon dioxide nitrous gases sulfur dioxide hydrofluoric acid however the major cause was found to be higher concentration of the sulfur dioxide to the tune of 25 to 100 mg per cubic meter in addition to the climatic conditions that we discussed here the poza rica is most important petroleum producing region hence this particular region is associated with various refineries as well as certain dust cleaning industries in this region a certain sulfur recovery plant was not fully functional but was being run with certain partial capacity this plant was employing mono ethanolamine for absorption of hydrogen sulfide on november 24 1950 hydrogen sulfide which is colorless and flammable gas at that oil field was accidentally vented into the air under low altitude temperature inversion because of this sudden venting there is a mortality of 22 and morbidity of 320 it also killed certain 50% of the animals exposed to the gas during this particular situation the airborne concentration of h2s was experienced to be more than 100 ppm which is immediately dangerous to human life as well as the health this particular pollutant even at its lower concentration causes respiratory tract irritation as well as pulmonary edema it damages the heart muscle it causes the psychic changes it also causes the nerve paralysis as well as spasms and unconsciousness
geographically london is spread over plain topography along the thames river due to the burning of coal for domestic purposes as well as for industrial activity with the increase in the population with the advent of the industry and with the increase in the demand there was continuous experience of fog and it has been experienced since 1873 however for a specific period during the december 5th to 9th 1950 the fog in fact it was the smog covered upward 1000 square miles of thames valley including this london the literature tells us that the haze the visibility was reduced exceptionally so that even the people who were walking along the roads were unable to see their feet as well as even during the traveling as the visibility was considerably impaired the people left their vehicles on the road and they preferred walking however during their walk many people experienced the difficulty in breathing and many died because of the respiratory troubles the measurements suggest that the concentration of the particulate matter in the air had reached the 56 times its normal level also the sulfur dioxide concentrations were increased to 7 times its peak level the smoke particles trapped in the fog gave it yellow black color also the sulfur dioxide reacted with the substances in foggy droplets to form the sulfuric acid adding an intense pop of acetrin to the process after this 52 the industrial setup was compelled to migrate outside the city limits and hence the formation of this particular smog was not very frequent however with the lower intensity it was continuously experienced over 55 56 57 and one more larger incidence on 1962 however the administration took the due cognizance of this kind of the occurrences and in 1956 the clean air act was established for a particular region by british government donora and webster from pennsylvania is characterized with the industrial setup of steel and zinc manufacturing plants these places are geographical sited along the river and there is valley like formation let in october 1948 similar smog disaster occurred over the both the places donora as well as webster this was experienced over the five days beginning 
beginning on October 27th and the particular environmental conditions was characterized with unusual temperature inversion with low winds. The contaminant emission from the industry associated with the zinc smelting, steel, in addition to the transporting sector as well as even the domestic fuel burning, led to the formation of this fog. It lasted over these four days, which caused the death of 20 people and also the morbidity of 5,910. The predominant symptom was irritation of the respiratory tract, which was especially severe in elderly people and most of the death count was experienced to be ranging in the 50 to 85 years. A thorough investigation subsequently carried out concluded that this disaster should have been produced by the combination of the several contaminants, chiefly along which was sulfur dioxide and their oxidation products. Also, there was the possible presence of other contaminants such as oxides of the nitrogen, fluorides, chlorides, hydrogen sulfide, cadmium oxide as well as even the particulate. This accident was experienced in Bhopal in 1984. There were three tanks in order to store methyl isocyanate. One of these particular three tanks was empty. However, the remaining two tanks were partially filled. As certain water seeped into this MIC storage tank, it caused the exothermal reaction and released the large amount of poisonous gas because of improper working of these safety valves. Normally, the seepage of the gases was expected to be cleaned through the action of scrubbers as well as even the flaring up. Also, there is some refrigeration system in order to catch it as well as even there were certain water curtains provision. But when this particular incident occurred, when this particular accident occurred, none of these particular systems was in working condition. Hence, the entire safety procedures were questionable. This kind of gas leakage killed at least 4,000 people instantly and more than 500,000 people were suffering from the health problem. Even today, as we consider the present status, the pollutant which was localized over the certain region of this particular Bhopal when this particular accident occurred, today it is extended over the 42 areas in Bhopal and their effects are still continued. Through the three generations, there is 28 times death rate, increased cases related with the cancer, kidney, 
as well as even the lung diseases. Still, there are still births as well as the births of the childs with certain anomalies. However, this particular accident could not could not be tackled technically, socially because of local conflicts as well as even the international burdens on certain policy matters. This disaster occurred in Chernobyl located in Ukraine during 1986. For a certain nuclear reactor setup during the routine maintenance system, there was accident caused because of addition of cooling water. This disaster occurred with nuclear reactor situated in Chernobyl, Ukraine. This is worst example as far as nuclear power generation is concerned. The accident was occurred because of the mishandling of the plant by the people who were not trained enough. The repeated mistakes caused the series of explosions as the regulatory systems as well as safety systems were drawn were withdrawn during the working of the reactor. As the nuclear reactor was generating the power and as there was not enough control on the various reactions that were going on because of the working with non-trained people and also the faulty design of the reactor. It caused the reactor stress resulting in the huge amount of the energy which raised the temperature more than 2000 degrees centigrade causing fuel rod melting. As the extreme pressure of the steam was built, it caused the explosion of slamming of the roof and accordingly simultaneously about 185 to 250 million queries of the radioactive material was vented into the atmosphere. Immediately following this accident, hundreds of the people were diagnosed with the radiation sickness. Particularly in Belarus, there has been dramatic increase in the number of thyroid cancers as well as leukemia. As we refer to the literature, it is not giving the appropriate information of the deaths caused during this particular disaster. The some of the records tell us about the death toll of 5 to 50, whereas some tell us that there were around 30 deaths that caused immediately after this. However, as huge amount of the radioactive material was sent into the atmosphere, 
huge number of the people more than 7 billion plus will be facing the difficulties and hazards associated with their health in coming period. The traces of cesium-137, iodine, strontium, plutonium are still existing and moving in the atmosphere over the region of Europe, Netherlands and this is going to last for years. The Southeast Asian haze is one of the worst examples as far as human greed is concerned. Indonesia is world's biggest producer of palm oil. There are a lot many corporations that are interested in having open land and even some people who are in the speculation of the land, they are interested in procuring the land which is occupied by the forest. Hence, according to the available literature, it can be seen that there has been forest fires that are occurring over the years together. For example, in 1982, 3.5 million hectare. In 1987, 50,000 hectare. In 1991, 1 lakh 20,000 hectare. And in 1994, 1 lakh 60,000 hectare area was burnt. In 97, it caused the largest forest fire disaster subsequent to June 97, more than 1,500 fires consumed more than 300,000 hectares. And this caused the generation of the intense smoke which even affected the neighboring countries Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand. During January and May 21, around 19,000 hectare of the peatland was further burnt. That is, this particular trend of the burning is continuously going on and day by day it is also increasing. Because of this particular burnings, the, there is a considerable rise in the presence of the particulate matter, there would be presence of these forms suspended as well as respirable particulate matter which is being generated due to the series of such fires. This particular region has the fifth highest loss of the life years due to particulate pollution in the world. Jelin chemical explosion that occurred in 2005 is again the example of greed of the people as well as sheer negligence with the industrial safety aspects. On 13th November 2005, in a petrochemical plant in Jilin, China, was a site of series of explosions which resulted because of the blockage of the one of the nitration towers at benzene production branch which was not being run and handled properly through the appropriate te technical personnel. Even though there is not concrete proof, the literature suggests that there was a practice of dumping some of the 
industrial waste that are generated through this particular petrochemical plant in the rivers nearby because of dumping of this kind of industrial waste and the accident that took place it caused six people to die and lot many people got injured and thousands were required to evacuate that particular region the event released 100 tons of the pollutants mainly benzene and nitrobenzene in the atmosphere according to the available literature so Moa river and amur river were recorded with the presence of toxic sludge spread over the stretch of 80 kilometers after this particular chemical explosion in 2005 the benzene level rose to 100 times the safety level causing the reduction of amount of blood cells in the body and leukemia and other immune systems Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster occurred in 2011 basically this was a natural disaster as on 16th March 2011 the post earthquake tsunami triggered the nuclear meltdown, hydrogen explosions and release of radioactive materials from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Fukushima, Japan. This radioactivity was released as fine particulates traveled in the air over the kilometers and settled onto the surrounding countryside. With the passing time, the exclusion zone grew larger and larger as the radiation leaked from the plant, forcing more than 1,50,000 people to evacuate from that region. For Japan, it was great economic loss as the damage cost at least 110 billion dollars since this kind of disaster japan has gone from operating 35 nuclear reactors just to two the net income of japan's electric power companies is only just over the half of what it was prior to the disaster very similar to the other disasters that we discussed, this accident has got short as well as long term implications for both Japan as well as global environmental security. The climate change as it is being studied It is said by the experts that this also has to be taken as natural disaster. As far as the cyclones that hit India and nearby region during this 2019-2021, we can consider some of the actual happenings during this particular period. The International Panel on Climate Change mentions in their particular report that the flash floods, sizzling temperatures, droughts and intense cyclones are likely to occur in India due to the climate change and will continue to devastate regions in South Asia unless drastic measures are taken to curb the carbon emissions. Few of the 
cyclones that hit India in this particular period 2019 to 2021 as mentioned here. See Cyclone Gulab, Cyclone Taupte, Cyclone Vyas and as you see during this particular 1920 there are series of hits of this kind of the cyclones. So, as we discussed various disasters that occurred over the globe and as we try to discuss some of the relations with the air pollution, we can summarize our discussion with these particular points that the disaster could be onset over the short period, could be onset over the long period, could be natural, could be man-made, but essentially that lead to air pollution and vice versa. The natural disasters trigger the technological accidents. For example, the way we discussed about the 2000 11 nuclear disaster that occurred in Fukushima. The disasters facilitated a release of hazardous material. So the way we considered for Chernobyl the release of 185 to 250 million curies of radio material. Also, there would be increased release of accumulated pollutants. In case of London fog, in case of South East Asian haze, the way we discussed, it is not just one time happening, but it is happening over the years together and their impact is continuously increasing which is causing release of accumulated pollutants. The disasters also provides a breeding ground for airborne microbes as well as mold. So any kind of natural disaster or man-made disaster as it occurs, the contaminants and the microorganisms left behind would pose number of health risks. Also, there is an increased drought of promote, promoting certain sandstorms. For example, droughts and dust clouds affect millions of people every year. As we consider the number of disasters, their happenings were mostly related with peculiar weather condition. It has also great relationship with the geographical site. So there could be long valley like belt or the weather conditions could be characterized. with inversion like phenomenon or low wind conditions and hence under these particular geographical sightings as well as weather conditions the disasters have pronounced effects. We can also give thought to scale of disasters due to the air pollution. So as we try to think of various cyclones that are hitting the India and around region, if we consider the climate change as an environmental issue for the world, it is associated with 
the global impact. Also, the ozone depletion that is occurring in the high altitudes is also the global impact. As we consider the ground level ozone formation, essentially because of the interaction that takes place in the hydrocarbons and oxides of the nitrogen that are being emitted by automobile and their interaction with the UV rays, it will be causing many hazards and hence this tropospheric ozone is associated with global, regional to continental as well as even local to regional scales. The emission of primary pollutants, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide and ammonia and their subsequent deposition on the water surface as well as the soil, they are altering the nature of the soil as well as even the surface water. Hence, their impact is expected to be global, regional as well as even local to regional. And the similar cases can be studied in view of the scale of disasters in relation with environmental issue as given here. As we try to have most of the discussion in form of disaster and its relation with the air pollution, we also have to give consideration to the death threats associated with the air pollution disasters. So according to the World Health Organization, every year around 7 million people die prematurely from the disease caused by air pollution. This is eighth of all deaths that are occurring over the world. More than 10 million people die each year from air pollution based on this 2012 data. Also, we can have the bifurcation of the deaths that are caused because of the outdoor pollution as in class indoor pollution in view of the various diseases that are listed here. So thanks for your attention. I hope the discussion that we had related with the disasters as well as their impact in view of air pollution is understood to you. So as we move ahead, we will discuss about the air pollution associated loss. So by till then, I wish you very happy learning. Thank you.